There are three types of internet lead capture available. The first is an internet landing page, which is hosted by Microsoft. The second allows you to generate an HTML snippet to place into your own web page. And the third is a simple business card contact page. There are two ways to create landing pages to capture internet leads. The first is from a campaign. This will capture the campaign name in the source campaign field on the lead. It will also create a campaign response. The second way of creating a landing page is in general from the sales or marketing modules, and this will not retain a campaign name in the lead source. In this demonstration, I'll cover two scenarios. First, I'll create an internet lead capture landing page from a campaign. In the second scenario, I'll create a landing page in general from the sales module. To create an internet lead capture landing page from a campaign, the first thing I'll do is open up a new campaign. I'll enter some basic information and I'll keep the campaign type as an advertisement for now. I'll click Save. You'll see that you have some new features under internet marketing on the campaign. In this demonstration, I'll cover the landing pages and the internet leads. Search engine marketing is covered in another video on internet marketing. To create a new landing page for this campaign, I'll click on landing pages. This is where you'll see the three types of landing pages available. In this demonstration, I'll create one from scratch, one that is hosted by Microsoft. You'll see that I've already got one active lead capture page. I'll create a new page. I'll enter in a page name and select my page layout. In this case, I'll put in an information picture and a form, and I'll change the page theme to Mint. And then I'll enter in some more information about my page. I'll upload a sample image file to include on my page here. And then the next step is to choose my available fields. By default, it already includes the last name and the company name. I'll add the first name, job title, phone number, and email. On this page, I can select required fields. I'll make them all required. And I can reorder the display. So I'll put first name first. And then I can include a button label and a button URL that the page will refresh to once I've submitted information. And I'll click Next Step. The next step is to review and confirm the preview. This looks good, so I'll hit Finish. And now I have a URL that I can use in my campaign, whether it's an advertisement, a direct mail piece, or an event. To finish, I'll just click Done and the new page has been created. I can close out this window now. In my campaign, to make my job easier, I can go in and put in the lead capture page in my description and save the record. Now let's test this out. I'll open up a new Windows Internet Explorer page and put in my URL for my landing page. I'll put in my first name, last name, company name, job title, phone number, and email address. And then I'll hit submit. You'll see that this redirects me to the landing page that I pointed it to when I was creating this new internet lead capture page. Let's go back to our campaign. I'll go to my internet leads because this is where all those leads will come in from the landing page I just created.
If I click on Internet Leads, you'll see that I have one new lead, and this is the one I just created. And you can see here that the campaign information is containing the campaign name I created this from. The next step is to import my leads. I'll highlight this lead and check it. And then I can check who this lead is assigned to and do the import. Once I import the new lead, there are a couple of things that happen. First of all, a campaign response is recorded. And secondly, the new lead is created. You'll notice a few things on my lead form. First of all, the topic is prefaced with internet marketing and then the name of my campaign. Secondly, I've got a new lead source here that's uh, labeled as internet marketing. And I also have my source campaign information populated. Now, if I want to take this lead and convert it to an opportunity, I can go ahead and move forward at that point, and it will carry through the source campaign through to my opportunity, so I can start tracking ROI on that campaign. Next, let's see what happens when we create a general internet lead capture landing page that's not related to a campaign. In this scenario, I'm going to create a lead capture page from the sales module. I'll click on landing pages here, click the lead capture page, and create a new page. I'll give it a name. Create the layout. and enter my information. And now I'll add my fields. We'll put in first name, change it to first order required. Street, city, state, zip. And label our button and give it a URL. And now we've got our preview pane, and I'll click Finish. And here's our new landing page. Let's test this out. I'll put in some new information. and submit. We'll go back to CRM and check out our internet leads. As you can see here I have my new internet lead and you'll see that the campaign is blank because we didn't associate it to a campaign. I can then import the lead. Now if I click on my leads and go into this new lead record We'll see that the topic is prefaced with Internet Marketing, General Lead Capture Page. You'll see that the lead source is still Internet Marketing, but there is no source campaign. To take this one step further, I've clicked on Workflows, and as you can see, I have two workflows running behind the scenes for this lead. I have an Internet Lead Capture process, and then I have a lead assignment process, which is running as Child, cam uh, child Workflow. If I open up my Internet Lead Capture process, You'll see here that it's starting the child workflow in which it assigns the lead. And then the next thing that it does is it looks for a source campaign. And if that is blank, it's going to create a phone call follow-up activity to the owner of this record to follow up with this new lead.
and as you can see in my open activities, I have a new phone call to follow up with John White. Just like with the lead that came in from the source campaign for our contact us page, I can then convert this lead if it's a qualified opportunity and move forward with my process. This concludes the demonstration of the internet lead capture within internet marketing for CRM online. Thanks and have a great day.